Hey everyone, I'm Beyond Grenade and you're watching Beyond Grenade today. And today we're gonna to be talking about the topic of wavy hair versus curly hair. There is definitely a difference and products may work for curly hair that might not work for wavy hair and vice versa. So I'm gonna be doing a curly hair routine swap with me, India Batson, and I am a wavy-haired YouTuber. I am so excited to be collaborating with Bianca Renee today. She's amazing, as you guys already know. So be sure to pop over to my channel to see how her products worked on my hair. It definitely turned out interesting to say the least, and I had a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the Diva Curl Delight Low Poo in One Condition, as well as the Diva Curl Wave Maker, and we'll see how these wavy products do on my curly hair. Alrighty, let's wash this hair. Starting off with the Diva Curl Low Poo Delight. I've never tried this before. It smells very like refreshing, kind of like a lemony fresh smell. But what I did like about the shampoo is that it is a low poo versus a no poo, which I use sometimes. And the only difference is you get a little bit of lather, like the bubbling sensation. And I like that. I just like to feel that my hair is actually being cleaned and could just be a mental thing, but I like a little bit of bubble. So that was nice, and then I rinsed it all out, of course. Then I grabbed my Diva Curl One Condition Delight. Has the same refreshing, lemony fresh type smell, and oh, making a mess, per usual. But I like to use uh, a lot of conditioner, but hey, what curly girl doesn't? So I also split my hair into two sections, and this is how I detangle in the shower. If you rake through your hair in sections like this, it's really easy to finger detangle. And this actually had some pretty good slip when you do this type of method. The interesting part was, India said that she does not detangle her hair, even in the shower. Her hair is usually wavier when she doesn't. I knew if I did that, my hair would be a hot mess for the rest of the week, so I still detangled. But for any of you wavy girls watching, you might wanna try her tip of not detangling and seeing if your hair is more wavy. So after I put in my conditioner, I usually leave the conditioner in my hair, but India rinses it all out. So once I rinsed it all out, this was my final results. Now that I'm fresh out the shower, I'm going to apply the styling product. Now just like me, she also just uses one product, which is the Diva Curl Wave Maker. So first I'm gonna do a little smell test. It smells really good. It kind of smells like watermelon. I'm getting like a sweet watermelon. Oh, it's a cream. I don't know why I thought this was gonna be like a clear, like almost kind of gel. Hmm. Oh, this is a weird consistency. It's almost like a goopy, Oh, I did not expect this. It goes on really smooth, but it's more of like a whip, like whipped cream. Then I scrunch, scrunch to get the curls back. Interesting. Apply some more to the other side. At this point, I usually prefer to let my hair dry for about two hours and then I use my diffuser, but India said she prefers to just let her hair air dry, so that's what I did. And these were my results. As you can see, I was very happy with the results. My hair looks really shiny, really bouncy. My curls are very tightly springed up and had some good bounce to them. But I do want to admit that although it looked great here on day one in this video, on day two, my hair actually got frizzy by the end of the day once I refreshed with the Wave Maker. So maybe the Wave Maker is good enough for day one, but might not last us throughout the week. Now, although India does wear her hair like in a part and on one side and kind of keeps it like this, I usually like to wear my hair really big and have extra volume and have some bangs sometimes. So now I'm gonna take an extra step to pick it out. There we go. My hair definitely feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel like heavy or weighed down at all. Still light and fluffy, but I was able to get my curl definition. And the cast kind of was there in the beginning, but it does pretty much wear off. But I like the results. The reason why I think these products still work for me is because my hair isn't too thick and it's still low porosity and it can get easily weighed down if products are too heavy. But now luckily the Decadence line and the Super Cream are not too heavy for my hair. This is even lighter than those products though, but I still was able to get really good results. 
But now it's time for India to try my favorite Diva Curl products using the Decadence line and the Super Cream. So make sure you check out her video on her channel right now to see how my products work on her wavy hair. I will link India's video in the description box below and at the end of this video, so make sure you subscribe to her channel as well. And if you enjoyed this video, come back next week. I post two new videos every week, foundation reviews on Friday and curly hair videos on Sunday. So hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss any more videos. I will see you all next time right here on Bianca Renee Today.